I think there was a dream, I would say, to be very honest, that at one day that this uh, entire campus could um, be stewarded by Park Day School. But it also carried a, an obligation for us to know this is very special property that has served children um, as an orphanage and uh, now as a school for uh, over a hundred years. And we have an obligation to make sure that we treat it with um, all the preciousness that we believe that it deserves and requires. And so we want to be very deliberate as we develop the campus over time that it continues to hold the great aesthetic quality that it always has. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, continuing to serve children as well as it does. As a progressive school, it's a natural for us to be uh, an organization that supports sustainability in all of the different things that we're doing from building projects to the educational program that we're offering the kids. It's an interesting challenge that the school faces in being able to bring as many elements of sustainability into this project and at the same time make the project affordable. With the economic downturn that we've had, organizations are hard pressed in their fundraising efforts. So we are doing our best to make sure that we bring as much value to the um, project as we can. Some of the sustainability or green elements, though they might be more expensive initially, in the long term bring great value and lasting value to this, to this project. But we would like to have everything from gray water elements to um, solar power in the building to the most efficient heating elements. Um, we've put a lot of time into deciding what's the best lighting, not only from an educational point of view, but also from um, a sustainability point of view. One of the most important points is that we can minimize the use of electricity because of the natural light that comes into the buildings. So we'll keep the lights off. And you can see that the natural light that comes pouring into this building will be adequate for a classroom teacher to use the space. Um, bringing environmentalism into the school at the heart of what we're doing just makes such sense for a progressive school. The indoor-outdoor component to this project is really exciting. We have a plan to have, uh, adjacent to the building, um, an edible garden program that the students themselves will help to create. The students will be learning sustainable gardening um, techniques and they'll also be bringing all of the compost um, methods that they know of here on campus. But then they'll be able to actually use their composting materials. It doesn't have to just go to a recycling center. It'll all be happening here on campus. The irrigation plan that we have, both with the well that we have on campus and with a gray water plan, will be another component. So the children will be learning so much. I want to say how excited we are about this project and what it means to the future of the school. Um, as a small school in Oakland, um, of somewhat modest means. This provides the opportunity for the school to enhance its programs. Um, it allows us to open our spaces. It allows us to do more in community outreach. It allows us to be more connected with the environmental community as we move forward in developing our curriculum in that area. It creates a wonderful vision for us here and um, one only has to go out and kind of look around on this campus to see that there's an endless, endless list of uh, opportunities for the school and moving into the future and uh, to become a real 21st century school.